Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a read uh, for you and that other person. It will be from October 1st through the 15th, 2019. Now do keep in mind energy is fluid so it might go way beyond that. Uh, it might happen even before. You might be smack in the middle of it, alright? So uh, it is a general read uh, so that goes without saying so do note that. Um, if however that you'd like a personal read then go to The Guided Intuitive intuitive.com up here and uh, also listed below uh, in my description box and we'll get you started okay all right so this over here is my traveling compa compadre I should say uh, Bella and she is joining me today here uh, to do this read for you so uh, uh, she has blessed us with her, her presence <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on all right um, I do want to thank all of you uh, for all your likes subscribes and shares and please note that uh, those of you that have uh, uh, ordered the sessions beyond the read which takes it a step further beyond the read to get rid of any obstacles emotional uh, blockages uh, you know sadness guilt shame things like that that kind of uh, you want to unpack as you enter into as you continue on your hero's journey I should say uh, and um, so I'll be using uh, the hero's journey cards uh, and uh, as well as the tarot and a few other decks all right so let's take a look and see what was going on what are the origins of the relationship at this time uh, I'll be talking about you on one side the other person on the other feel free to reverse the messages as you see fit or the sides uh, as well all right so the origins of the relationship at this particular time Pisces here you go ah this is interesting so um, this is saying, this is asking yourself, um, and this is quite interesting that this came about here because this is telling me that it's about what is it that, what is it that your higher self would do, okay? So in this current situation or in this relationship, this is asking you, what would your higher self, highest self do? Because it's almost like this person is in the corner going like this, right? Oh my gosh, you know, thinking the worst. This wants you to flip it around. If you were to ask your higher self in this situation, in this relationship, what should I do? Because the universe is giving you guidance along the way. And it wants you to look to the light, not down into the darkness. Okay. And that's what this is talking about. It's a two card. talks about duality. Uh, so instead of looking at the dark, looking into the light. Okay, instead of concentrating on the negative, focus on the lighter, the positive side of things. And so that is asking you to see the world in a different way as it pertains to the situation or this relationship. Or it could be that your life overall, it wants you to focus on the light. Okay, sorry about the glare there, guys. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, that's what's coming into play there. So it's kind of like uh, that you are, um, you are divinity. But now you're not recognizing your your uh, your just uh, your your magnificence. You're focusing on the holes in your genes. Okay, so this is really talking about um, that. You know, what would your highest self do in this situation? And it wants you to take heed of that because no one knows best than you. You don't want to give anyone else your power. You want to take maybe some insights in. Uh, as it pertains to, uh, uh, you know, different uh, guidance, uh, such as in my channel here, take those insights in, but you need to make the decision that is best for you. So check in with your intuition there. Okay. When I clarify this, what wants to come out? Let's see what wants to come out. Yeah, you're looking long term relating to this situation. So we get the two, another two, right? Again, two people, um, but this is talking about looking long term. Uh, the twos are about duality still. This is about making progress. So to make progress, and this wants you to discover uh, and discover new realms and new heights and new uh, territories that you can travel on your hero's journey. This is saying you need to look at it from the opposite side on what your highest self would do. Okay. So that's what's coming into play. What is the underlying issues of the relationship at this time? What are the underlying issues of the relationship at this or situationship at this time? Okay. It could be a situation too. Okay. So here we go. What is it? You are invited. Okay. You might want to check out, out Leo's uh, Pisces, um, their, their read, uh, because they also got this card here. This is about coming to fruition. So this is about um, that you might be getting invited to a party. You might be invited by the universe. You might be invited by someone or something to suit up 
show up and darn right open up okay so this is what it's talking about so maybe in this relationship is this is what's going to take in this situation this is what it's going to take so if you're going for that job interview suit up show up open up right and if you're going for that relationship you might have to suit up uh, show up with a rose on my dad or you never know <laughs> or in your best uh, um, uh, in your in your best frame of mind right and uh, open up right with with love compassion and kindness okay so that's what's coming into play here and that is the underlying issues of the relationship you're being invited you have an opportunity here there is an opportunity at ham Pisces for you to uh, to really um, get what you want okay you're being invited the universe is inviting you look at this point of view look at this other way of looking at things now get rid of that old uh, you know darkness way of thinking there's new terrain that wants to be uh trampled upon and so it was saying you are invited you were born invited okay so what do you need to do you need to suit up you need to show up and you need to open up but open up in that positive way again okay so that's what it's talking about uh what you speak uh, you know, really can come into existence, okay? So be careful of what you speak and what you think and what you feel, okay? Uh, so here's what we have coming through. If we clarify this, the underlying issues of the relationship, emotional fulfillment, being satiated. When you do this, when you do this, okay? Suit up, show up, and speak up, okay? And you do it in a way that's going to serve your highest good. It is going to bring you emotional fulfillment okay and that's what this is talking about okay let's take a look at the situation now where you're at right now where you're at right now in the situation or in this relationship where you at castle of the dreams so color is going to be a big thing for you right now different color is going to make you feel differently okay uh so this is saying to heed the color in your dreams they have messages for you and to ask your dreams uh, you know, into uh, see what what is that wants to come out, you know, and hear the blue. Blue's talking about communication, all sorts of communication. You've got the moon, as this might be that the communication is hidden right now, okay? So this is talking about your dreams. When you see different colors, what do they speak to you, okay? So, you know, when I see green, right? When I wear green, I'm thinking love, right? And that's, that's how I feel. So you start thinking about what color means to you and how you would interpret it because it's there to help you and it's helped to guide you to be this satiated person so you can move forward on this uncharted territories that have yet to be discovered and are waiting for you so it really wants you to um it really wants you to uh become altered by color in your life Frankly, that's what's coming into play. I don't know why, but that's what's coming into play. So heed your dreams and heed your real life as you're going on to things. And when you think about it, what stands out to you in the moment and what does that tell you? Because it's going to give you signals of how you need to move forward and uh, in this relationship, in this situation. Okay. All right. So let's, where's the situation right now? Where's the situation right now? Let's see where that is. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I got. Yeah. How interesting. Situation right now. Again, the unknown is your friend. Don't be afraid of the unknown, okay? Step into the unknown. It's going to shed light and offer you warmth by the fire, okay? So it does want you to take the unknown by the hand, regardless, because you are not, you don't have control over the unknown, right? And a lot of us um, sometimes tend to power in the unknown and think of it as being something negative. But the duality of this, which is kind of a central theme in your read so far, is that it can have the opposite effect. It can bring light to you. It can bring warmth to you, okay? So so you need to move forward in this situation now with faith, with positivity, and with your manifestation in mind on how you would like the outcome to play out, okay? Think it, feel it, visualize it, okay? And so it is, all right? So that is what is really important to you right now. That's the situation right now, okay? Anything else that wants to come through, it's going to help you feel exuberance it's going to bring in really good vibes uh it's going to make you feel like a kid again uh so feel like a kid again explore the un it'll help you explore un un, un uh, uncharted territories in your heart body mind and soul okay and it's going to make you feel great so that's what it wants you to do the unknown is going to bring out the sunshine in you okay so let's talk about this other person uh what is the origins of the relationship or situation on this other side okay what do they get 
they are going on an upward spiral of some sort of grace. They are moving forward from a place that maybe was a little bit uh, uh, darkened before, and they are moving towards passion into the light of the divine, okay? That's what I see here, okay? They're really moving. That purple there is all that crown chakra using the third eye and uh, really focusing on their spiritual existence and what the source is to them and what that means to them and how they can co-create and dance with the world. And that's what's happening. Dance, not just dance, but dance passionately, okay? Uh, and so this is about how much good can you handle? How much good do you want in your life? Because it's available for you if only you believe, if only you help, you know, you create with the universe in this, okay? Um, so it's a 39 card. Uh, it brings it down to a 12, which also brings it down to a three. So it's about this person getting creative, right? You're know, getting creative using the artistic flair in terms of what it is that they do. Uh, and then be opened up to how much good can they really handle, okay? So that's what's coming into play. If I clarify that on the origins of the relationship, they really feel good, I will tell you, when they're around you. it's a, They really feel like there's this upward spiral. They do feel that around you. I'm just getting that point. Yeah, they are putting them, they're trying to put themselves now in the driver's seat, okay? Getting balance and taking action, okay? They have um, the power to do so. And uh, they have a power to, uh, to um, bring in what they want and to manifest what they want. This is a major arcana card. Yeah, this is a major arcana card. And it just is really putting them in the driver's seat. Yeah, it's uh, having control and having the willpower to move forward and uh, recognize and determine the level of good that they want in their lives, okay? So that's what I see here. What is the underlying issues of the relationship? Underlying issues of the relationship or situation right now. This is about being their own unique self. As weird as it may be, this is about them tapping into their own uniqueness in themselves and letting that shine. So if it's about letting their freak flag shine, that's saying do it, okay? Yes, go do it. This, this is what makes the world so darn colorful. This is what really makes the world so fun to be in, right? Is when we all are able to tap into our own uniqueness and let that shine without any mask, what a beautiful world, huh? What a beautiful place to be. Uh, so this is having this person to express their own uniqueness, whatever that is and to be at that. And that's being their true authentic self, their true authentic self. And that is the greatest gift that you can give anyone. It's the greatest gift you can give yourself, okay? And uh, this on this side is what's coming into play that the, it's saying the weird is the new cool. So be the weird you and that's fine. And, and don't feel that being weird is gonna put you out into the outskirts of everyone. Actually, it's going to do quite the opposite. It's going to, you're, you're going to be, it, it brings you into opening the gates to the churches. And it's just really being exactly who, it, it, it's no longer, you have to feel weird about that, right? Because now you're going to be recognized for your uniqueness and not put on the outskirts of being, of, of, of being maybe weird. This is what this is telling you. People are recognizing this person on this side, uh, there people are recognizing that, that this is uh, this is coming to fruition. This is becoming a success. So uh, the underlying issues of the relationship right now are the fact that people are recognizing them for who they are, and it's beautiful, and it's it, and it's cool, and and that's what makes them so unique. What's the situation now with this other person? What's the situation now with this other person? Magic zone. So this is about them getting into their own zone, into creating the life that they want, manifesting in uh, what it is that they want, what kind of world that they want to play in, and making that, and, and bringing that onto this physical plane, and helping um, enliven them, helping enlighten them on, on the physical plane. So uh, this is quite beautiful. So it's, it's having faith that they're going to have some sort of exhilaration from this, from, from being who they really are. There's this exhilaration. And there's this, ah, oh, you know, it's like, yes, I can be me. Yeah, you can. And that's what's going to really uh, be beautiful. And it's no longer they have to be sneaky in the situation, right? They could uh, just be exactly who they really, really are. And it brings them a lot of opportunities that the universe is going to send their way to bring them through new gates and new journeys, okay? So this is about a gift from the universe. Uh, this is about uh, an opportunity, a potential for manifestation and prosperity. So when they enter the magic zone and, and they no longer are sneaky in their, behavior, their behaviors and what they do or have to hide, feel they have to hide, they get opportunities that come their way. This is beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, and what is what is uh, the underlying um, 
what is the situ what is the uh, where's the relationship I should say headed on your side where's the relationship headed on your side over here uh, Pisces where's your relationship where's the relationship headed Wow discovering your superpower you are tapping into your mojo you're tapping into your mojo your power in this relationship in this situation to turn things around and move it in the way that you the direction that you want it to go in this is beautiful it's like swift movement right uh, this is 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 a 33 card reduces to a six new birth new you know uh, new birth new beginning there's growth here okay so uh, this is discovering your own superpower within you okay so that's exactly what I see here Wow very very beautiful and in moving forward in that right uh, this is just you are powerful strong infinite and blessed okay and this is saying tap into that tap into that and uh, it's it's uh, um, maybe maybe there was characteristics that you may be labeled about yourself to be bad well this is saying you know and, and, and you've deleted them from your uh, your playlist, right, about you. And this is saying is that nothing is ever deleted. You know, it is uh, just disowned for a little while before it comes back again, right? Still a part of you, right? Uh, because these types of things end up breaking into our dreams, right? They, 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 they end up coming into our dreams anyway. So this is saying is that, uh, um, you know, uh, that anything that has been cut off, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's when given a chance, it's going to come up again. So it's just, just saying that, you know, face it directly and to, uh, discover that superpower within you. You don't have to be afraid of your shadow. You can embrace your shadow and all your uniqueness and all who you are, right? Uh, the good, bad, and the ugly is in every single one of us. It's just how we want to, uh, portray that out into the world. Your, your shadow is no longer a shadow. It's just a, it's just a part of you. It's your mojo. It's your mojo that to, can empower you to bring you on to that next journey, that next quest, whatever that is. So uh, yeah, that's really beautiful. So you're discovering your superpower in you to make things happen. And you're becoming, it, it might have to do with the queen of pentacles. Okay. You might be taking on that Capricorn energy and focusing in on your, 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 um, your superpower and as to where you want to use that superpower and what you value. Are you going to use it in your relationship, this situation, whatever it is? Uh, but you're careful about that, right? Uh, you're very careful about that. Anything else that wants to clarify the outcome? Yeah, I mean, I got to tell you, another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, you might be dealing with them or you might be taking on this energy of really, you know, basking in everything that you've done so far and, and, and uh, really... Um, you really uh, enjoying the wealth of, of what you've brought upon already, everything that you've done. It's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful, Pisces. Whatever wealth that you've, that you've done for yourself or whatever you've created, you're very, very happy with it. Or you might be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? I'm just saying. And maybe things that uh, had been hidden there before, okay? So uh, I, I think that maybe there are some things that were hidden in the past and before. Maybe you, you hid your superpower before, but now you're starting over in a brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. It could be with a, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you're just taking on this type of energy and moving forward in a brand new beginning using your superpowers here uh, on where you want to target it, where you want to use it. What's the outcome for this other person? Okay, what's the outcome here in this relationship situation? What's the outcome? There's no place like home. They're coming back to themselves. They're coming back to themselves, right? Being their unique selves no longer in the, you know, feeling put out, left out. They're jumping into their own new coolness, right? And uh, they're back home to where their heart is. And they're nestling into where their heart is and the sweetness of that. So they've ended their journey. They've gone through all the trials and tribulations and coming back home. But with this new awareness that they can be who they are. This is beautiful. Um, let's see what this. There's no place like, maybe they're coming back home to you. Um, yeah, they, they've gone through some sort of completion. Just like I said, they completed their their journey, success, completion. It's it, 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 it's done. They, they've gone through that. And you've got a new beginning on your side. And they've gone through a completion, which brings on a new beginning for them as well. Yeah, they're no longer tied to what didn't serve them anymore. They're, they've moved on from that. Let's find out what it is that's going to help you in this relationship or a situation. Let's go back to you, Pisces. Honesty. It's about being honest with yourself, even though you might not be able to expect the honesty from another, but being honest with yourself. And that is true integrity. So I commend you for that, Pisces, very, very much so. This is like, it's like uh, you can 
you just really expecting the truth from yourself because you can't you can't defy yourself you can't lie to yourself it's going to come out right you know when you lie to yourself right so when you keep your truth and honesty with yourself uh, that's all that you can ask okay so even though others may not might not be able to do that this is saying be true to yourself and uh, bring that integrity to yourself. What else comes through for you? Humor. <laughs> so I think you're choosing the lighter side of life a little bit. I think maybe things have been heavy a little bit and you're just kind of making your heart sing by applying a little bit more humor into your life, okay? Maybe you need to focus on the lighter side of life because things have been so heavy. Yeah, you're, because you've been releasing a lot of the guilt. You've been releasing a lot of the guilt, right? And if you hold on to that guilt, you're just stunting your soul's growth. Okay, so this is saying let go of that guilt, guilt away, okay? And uh, if you need help with that, then you can go to one of my sessions over here. I can help you with that, okay? All right, so um, what about this other person? Anything that can help them? Let's see what that is for them. Empathy. So what they're learning to do is to look at both sides of the situation, okay? They're looking at both sides of the situation, and they're really seeing something from a different point of view, and they're understanding that, okay? So with love being open enough to see both sides of a situation, not just their side, but your side as well. What else? Didn't I just talk about that? Love. They're doing it with love. And look how similar these cards are, right? Uh, and uh, it brings everything into alignment. The red being the root chakra from the very base of the chakras to the very top of the crown, which is the purple. So it's all coming together. And this is about uh, applying love and empathy and seeing the good in the situation, even if it's maybe didn't turn out the way that they wanted to or how they wanted to or how they perceived it should be, they're doing it with empathy and love and looking at both sides of the situation, okay? And anything else that can come through for them. What else? Denial. They're not denying the fact that they, they're acknowledging their fear. They're acknowledging that they had some fears and what they're doing now is they're replacing it with the awareness that they've gained from the situation. Wow. Now, what do the root cards have to say? Now, this is going to be what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear, but you need to hear. <laughs> okay, let's see what that is. Okay, we're going to have some fun here. All right, what is that? What is it? So on your side, what do we have? Step away from that crazy making diet for a hot second. So, okay, so if, um, if Pisces, you've been focusing just on eating really, really, really good right now. This is saying that, um, you know, I don't know, maybe chocolate or something is going to taste good to you okay so it's saying really step away from that crazy making diet you need a break once in a while to step back okay step back and being so harsh on you that uh that uh, you really need to um uh indulge once in a while okay so don't forget to indulge once in a while okay this has to do with nutrition and diet so this is quite interesting all right uh let's see for this other person well this fell out what's this <laughs> This person needs some alone time, okay? Because uh, this is saying don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. This person some needs some time alone right now, okay? It definitely does. And it says, and you know why. <laughs> so if you know that and you resonated with this side, note your comments below. But this is interesting. They probably need some alone time to get their bearings straight a little bit uh, and to get their emotions in check, you know, from things. But yeah. Beautiful. Okay, guys, I hope that this resonated uh, in some way, and I look forward to uh, seeing your comments below, but uh, also seeing you next time in the second half of October. And until then, namaste.